I remember the day the four-minute warning went off. They couldn't work out why. Maybe burglars triggered it, or a stray cat trod on it, or the wind got up it. But there it was, a bleak, booming mating call, rather too eager in its readiness to bring the baddest news that ever got brought. Some people just turned over and went to sleep. Others felt the blood drain from their body and ducked and covered under the duvet. Next day at school we laughed it off and said it was a shame it hadn't been for real and we started to do maths or physics or whatever it was we were crammed into the classroom for the draft coming in off the waterlogged playing fields. <coughs> a gull dropped from a condensed sky and pecked at the mud and we shivered a little. Back then everyone thought it would happen. One kid's dad, remembering Cuba, even built a shelter, made them do a drill. It was a dread that got in your bones like drizzle. It gave an edge to puberty, I suppose. It felt excited in line with that shiny 1980s future here today vibe. It feels kind of quaint now, where it's a car drawing up, the phone, the face in the night that makes the fear clench. I listen for birdsong instead. <laughs> <laughs>